So hi guys, this is Verdi Cello and today I'm doing a reaction to Titanic from 1997 and this movie, I, I already said it I think in one or two videos that I've already done that each time that it played on TV and I was like, oh, I want to watch it each time when I click on it, it was always the end so I know the end of the movie, like when they hit the iceberg like that's always where I'm like that's the only place like where I know like the movie so from the iceberg to the end but I've never seen like how they get on the boat like I don't know why that happened so I think this is going to be like very interesting to finally understand the story and that's about it and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this with me so as always can like and subscribe and Titanic. Titanic in French, we would say. Thirteen meters, you should see it. Like it kind of must have been like crazy, like discovering like where the Titanic was. See the sad ruin of the great ship sitting here where she landed at 2.30 in the morning of April 15th, 1912. These windows are nine inches thick, and if they go, it's sayonara in two microseconds. Yeah, and we learned that very clearly some weeks ago, even I think maybe a, a month and a half ago. So it's like the pressure is, it's a lot of pressure underwater. Okay, now left. Now left, okay, left, 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 left. B deck. Okay, A deck. Some... Like there must be like some sharks or like fish living like under, well not under, inside the Titanic, I guess. Like I would be so scared if, if like a shark just came out. Okay. Okay, make your turn. Come right. Cable out, make your turn, make your turn, watch the wall. Right. That's some cool technology, like being able to control. Seeing this, boss? It's safe. It's payday, boys. <laughs> Bobby, let's go right here. <laughs> Cracker open. There's like only paper. Look, you just got to trust my instincts. I know we're close. Hang on a second. Where's the photograph of the necklace? We'll call you right back. I'll be goddamned. What is that? Turn that up, dear. A piece of paper that's been underwater for 84 years. And my team are able to preserve it intact. I'll be goddamned. Yeah, so so that's her in the picture. Tell us who the woman in the picture is. Oh yes, the woman in the picture is me. Not exactly travel light. That's she brought her fish. Do you anything? Is there anything you'd like? Yes. I would like to see my drawing. You actually think this is you, Nana? It is me, dear. Wasn't I a dish? <laughs> you see the date? April 14th, 1912. Which means if your grandmother is who she says she is, she was wearing the diamond the day the Titanic sank. And that makes you my new best friend. These are some of the things we were covering. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Now, the stern rises up, slow at first and faster and faster until finally she's got her whole ass is sticking up in the air. She splits right down to the keel and the stern. He's not very gentle with his expl like explanation. That fine forensic analysis, Mr. Bodine. The experience of it was somewhat difficult. Yeah, for sure. 
Okay, it must be kind of creepy to just see it back, like how it is now from when she was on it. Yeah, like it must have been like good memories, I guess. Tell us, Rose. It's been 84 years. Eighty-four years. And I can still smell the fresh paint. Titanic was called the ship of dreams. Must have smelled good if everything was new. I mean, I do like the smell of fresh paint, so... They're even putting cars in it? is about. It doesn't look any bigger than the Mauritania. You could be blase about some things, Rose, but not about Titanic. Like, the aesthetics are already, like, really nice. The clothes, the cars. Oh, I have okay, so they're rich, rich if she has a maid. It was the ship of dreams to everyone else. To me, it was a slave ship. Taking me back to America in chains. Jack, you are part, so you bet everything we have. When you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. I'm not yeah. a hunter, yeah, no. it's Okay, so they're betting like their ticket for Titanic. Somebody's life's about to change. Olaf? Nothing. Sven? Wait, Olaf and Sven? Just like Frozen. I'm sorry, Fabrizio. Because we're going to America. Full house, boys. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Titanic go to America in five minutes. <laughs> oh, shh. Come on. Come on here. Get I only better run. We've been through the inspection queue. Of course. Anyway, we don't have any lights. We're Americans. Both of us. Right. Come aboard. What? Was that a thing? Because they're Americans, they don't have lice? Like, how, how did they, like, recreate that? Because if it's, if it's CGI for 97, like, it's a pretty good CGI. Jack Dawson, nice to meet you. How you doing? What is Sven? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They're like, what the hell is Sven and Olaf? God, not those finger paintings again. They certainly were a waste of money. What's the artist's name? Something Picasso? <laughs> Something Picasso? At least they were cheap. Uh, it might have been cheap then, but... I think now they are worth a fortune. Nothing out ahead of us but ocean. <sighs> it must be like really pretty. Like the smell of the ocean. But I guess when you know what happens to the boat, you don't want to be on the boat. Hey, look, 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 look. See it? Like, how fast is the ship going? Like, I know they said 21 knots, but I don't know, like, in kilometers per hour, that, like, how that is. Knows. We'll both have the lamb. Rare with very little mint sauce. Right? You like lamb, right, sweet pea? Sausage. Sweet pea? You gonna cut her meat for her too there, Cal? <laughs> well, that's typical. Tourist class dogs from down here to take a shite. Uh, it lets us know where we rank in the scheme of things. Oh, forget it, Boyle. You just like have angels fly out of your arse and get next to the likes of her. I felt like I was standing at a great precipice with no one to pull me back. No one who cared or even noticed. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, she's not. No, she's not gonna try. Don't do it. Just give me your hand. I'll pull you back over. No, I'll let go. No, you won't. What do you mean? No, I won't. You don't know me. Well, you would have done it already. I guess I'm kind of hoping you'll come back over the rail and, and get me off the hook here. You're crazy. Everybody says, but... With all due respect, miss, I'm not the one hanging off the back of the ship here. Okay, good. 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 Whew. And don't slip. leaning over and I slipped. I would have gone overboard, but Mr. Dawson here saved me and almost went over himself. Well, the boy's a hero then. Good for you, son. Well done. So it all's well and uh, back to our brandy, eh? Ah. Thank you. That, that, that was a stressful scene. God. I intended to save this until the engagement gala next week. <laughs> it's really like beautiful like in person not just in a drawing like from far away it looks like a, a like the car is black but once you're near it's like blue the car de la mer yes. <laughs> you know there's nothing i couldn't give you there's nothing i'd deny you oh, open your heart to me rose at least he's he, like he's trying i want to thank you for what you did not just for for pulling me back, but for your discretion. Thinking was, what could have happened to this girl to make her think she had no way out? He's really great well, I... with words. Do you love him? Pardon me? Oh, it's a simple question. Do you yeah. love the guy or not? Uh. <laughs> this is not a suitable conversation. You are rude and uncouth and presumptuous, and I am leaving now. I don't think she loves her fiancé, if she doesn't answer the question, I guess. Steve, this is my part of the ship. You leave. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, well, well. Now who's being rude? So what are you, an artist or something? Jack, this is exquisite work. You have a gift, Jack. You do. You see people. I see you before she sits with us. Hello, girls. I was hoping I'd catch it tea. We're awfully sorry you missed it. They really don't like her, just because she's like new money. Mr. Ismay, I would prefer not to push the engines until they've been properly run in. What a glorious end to your final crossing if we were to get into New York on Tuesday night and surprise them all. Make the morning papers. Why can't I be like you, Jack? Just head out for the horizon whenever I feel like it. And we'll ride horses on the beach, right in the surf. Now, but you'll have to do it like a real cowboy, none of that side saddle stuff. What? I'll show you how, come no. on. Jack, oh, come no, on. Jack, come on. no. Watch closely. <clears throat> That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, even I can do that, like, I, I'm more like Rose than Jack. Can you see the range on that thing? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's disgusting. Yes, like someone on his chin. But my mother looked at him like an insect, a dangerous insect. What are you planning to wear? <laughs> oh, she's oh, she's gonna dress him. You and my son are just about the same size. Uh, I like her. She's really kind. Doing that for Jack. Good evening, sir. You know, sometimes you gotta act 
like you know what you're doing. Yeah, hands behind your back. Oh, she's gonna fall in love. Awesome. <laughs> it's, well, it's amazing. But you could almost pass for a gentleman. What a remarkable. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, you really see, like, Rich people are different. <laughs> like rich, rich like that. God. Care to escort a lady to dinner? Certainly. <laughs> Remember, they love money, so just pretend like you own a gold mine and you're in the club. I really like her. I forgot her name, but I really like her character. Molly. Molly. Tell us of the accommodations in steerage, Mr. Dawson. I hear they're quite good on this ship. The best I've seen, ma'am. Hardly any rats. Maybe mine on the In the eyes of God. Oh, It's all for me. Just start from the outside and work your way in. Oh. Well, that's a good advice. Outside into inside. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna try to remember that. I mean, got everything I need right here with me. Got air in my lungs and a few blank sheets of paper because the other night i was sleeping under a bridge and now here i am on the grandest ship in the world having champagne with you fine people <laughs> i'll take some of that he really has a great way with words to make me count to make, make it count. count make it count well, he did very well for his first like dinner with people like that. So you want to go to a real party? Exhausting. I see you had that undertaker of a manservant following me. How typical. I'm not a foreman in one of your mills, but you can command. I'm your fiance. My fiance! Yes, you are! And my Well, I don't like him anymore. not to see that boy again. Do you understand me? Your father left us nothing but a legacy of bad debts hidden by a good name. So that so that's why they want to to marry her to somebody who's rich. Of course it's unfair. More women. Mm. Like that must have been so uncom like um um uncomfortable like corsets. Mr. Hartley and Mrs. DeWitt Bucator continue to be appreciative of your assistance. To remind you that you hold a third class ticket and that your presence here is no longer appropriate. For sure. Excuse me, sir. Another ice warning. This one's from the Norden. Oh, not to worry. Quite normal for this time of year. So they did get, like, warnings for the ice. Lifeboats times the capacity you mentioned. Forgive me, but it seems that there are not enough for everyone aboard. Not half, actually. Rose, you miss nothing, do you? Half. In fact, I put in these deck space as it is in an unsinkable ship. So it's it's like bad decision after one another. You're no picnic. All right, you're a spoiled little brat, even. I know how the world works. I've got ten bucks in my pocket. I have nothing to offer you, and I know that. They've got you trapped, Rose. 
and you're gonna die if you don't break free. Maybe not right away because you're strong, but sooner or later that fire that I love about you rose. That fire is gonna burn out. I'm going back. Leave me alone. Beautiful bridesmaids' gowns. Let me tell you what an odyssey that has been. Rose decided she wanted to marry. Who stole some of my designs in the mood illustrate? They were for the future. She's like, this is not what I want. Hello, Jack. That's the Celine Dion song. Step up onto the rail. Like, I'm not big on like romantic movies, but that's like this one is really good. Like, in my head, I'm singing the song. <laughs> was the last time Titanic ever saw daylight. So we're up to dust the night of the sinking. In there, and he's got the iceberg warning in his fucking hand. Excuse me, his hand. That's what I was saying. more speed. <laughs> Monet. Hmm. Do you know his work? Of course. Look at his use of color here. Isn't he great? So she has Picasso and Monet. A very rare diamond. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing only this. He's like, oh. That's the thing that she had in her end. And like, in, in the present of the film. Yeah, yeah. I used to sharpen like the, the, like the pencil or the crayons with a knife. Like I, I have respect for for his talent because I'm not that good with portrait, por portraits of people. I'm not. It's not what I prefer to draw. Let's say. Can't imagine Monsieur Monet blushing. He does landscapes. I wonder, like, who who actually draw this in the movie because i don't know maybe maybe it's leonardo dicaprio who did it but i think they maybe took like a real artist you mean did we do it sorry to disappoint you mr bodine jack was very professional what you doing will you put this back in the safe for me mm -hmm. none of these stewards have seen her it's absurd a ship that there's only so many places she could be oh, I was gonna say I was I was gonna say it's about to go down but figuratively and literally it will make the bergs harder to see with no breaking water at the base well I'm off maintain speed on heading mr. light on They better run. <laughs> Pretty tough for a valve, this fella. Seems more like a cop. I think he was. Oh, shit. Go! What are you two doing down here? You shoot me down here, you think I'll be dying to run! Like her, literally, like her dress could cut on fire. It's a beautiful car.
like red like that. Thank you. those binoculars for the lookout. Haven't seen them since Southampton. Well, I'll be on my rounds. They can't even find, like, the, the things. <sighs> they're, they're probably not there, yeah. The ship docks. I'm getting off with you. Pick up, you bastards! See, iceberg right ahead. Thank you. Now this is where I've seen on the TV the movie. That's the part that I've seen. I like I I've s I feel like I didn't even see it because I don't remember that. Why are they turning? Is it hard over? It is, yes, sir, hard over. They're they're gonna eat that. Okay, like I literally don't remember that. Get back! Get out the door! They're closing the doors! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Did did people like that were working there? Like under, did anybody survive that? What was that, Mr. Murdoch? An iceberg, sir. All stop. Excuse me, why have the engines stopped? I felt a shudder. I shouldn't worry, madam. We've likely thrown a propeller blade. But if if they close all the doors. This is the direction the rats are going, that's good enough for me. Uh, yeah, that also, but if they closed every door, how the heck does the water go up? We've been looking for you, miss. Oh, here we go. So that so that's why he was he was chained tied or chained up in like some room. Now what? I'm on that. What are you doing? It's, it's a, this is horseshit. Real slick cowboys, they put it in my pocket. Shut up. This isn't even your pocket, is it, son? Property of A.L. Ryerson. That's, that's not good for him. When can we get underway, damn it? That's five compartments. She can stay afloat with the first four compartments breached, but not five. Titanic will founder. But this ship can't sink. She's made of iron, sir. I assure you, she can. Only because he wanted to go faster. To get there before the time. And how many aboard, Mr. Murdo? 2,200 souls on board, sir. How many lifeboats? Half. Well, God. I believe you may get your headlines, Mr. Ismay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a little slut, isn't it? Not to worry, miss. I am sure it's just a precaution. Everybody up! Life belts on! It's a while! Where are the passengers? They've all gone back inside! Too damn cold and noisy for them! I can 
turn the heaters on in our rooms. I'd like a cup of tea when I return. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Mr. Andrews? I saw the iceberg, and I see it in your eyes. But please tell me the truth. The ship will yes. sink. All this will be at the bottom of the Atlantic. And get to a boat, quickly. Don't wait. You remember what I told you about the boat? Yeah, there's only Alice. Over here, son. Go on. I'll keep an eye on him. Aye. Wait. With a gun? No. Full steam for them, sir. Says they can be here in four hours. Four hours? Good. For the time being, I shall require only women and children. All right, boys, like the captain said, nice and cheery, so there's no panic. Wedding dance. Why? That's the stupidest thing. What are we doing, Mommy? We're just waiting, dear. When they finish putting first-class people in the boats, they'll be starting with us, and we'll want to be all ready, won't we? And I think that describes society very well. That's that's not for fun. That's for telling the position. Will the lifeboats be seated according to class? Like they, I hope they're not too crowded. They don't even want to mix. Half the people on this ship are going to die. Not the better half. The pity I didn't keep that drawing. It'll be worth a lot more by morning. Yeah, he's an aeol. Yeah. Rose. No, she's, she's not gonna do it. Get into the boat. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye. I'd rather be his whore than your wife. That was a good one. Ugh, disgusting, but. Where would the master at arms take someone under arrest? Will he? Take the elevator to the very bottom and go to the left. Down the crewman's passage, then go right and left again at the stairs. You come to a long corridor. I'm screwing a light gun, damn it! Now take me down! Yeah, so I think now, now we're getting into really like the the real part that I know. Yeah, yeah, because I knew that he was chained up. So. Jack! Rose! Jack! Jack! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're gonna have to go find some help. It'll be all right. I don't. I don't remember like how people start to panic and why like everybody's. Like going super fast on the lifeboats. I don't remember that. Is there anybody down here? We need help. Hello. Oh, miss, you shouldn't please. be here now. I oh, need we'll your help. Let go of me, please! Like this is stressful. God damn. I must be so cold. <laughs> like seriously, props to the actor for for filming that. Try a couple practice swings over there. You mark again, Rose. You can do it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait. Open your hands up a little more. Yeah. Uh, gonna have like a a better. Like, you're gonna hit it better, we can say. Go! And you can see, like, she's cold. Like, her lips are, like, turning purple. Now there's something you don't see every day. Any men on at all? There's one on the other side letting men on. Well, then, that's our play. What do you think you're doing? 
Starline property. Shut up! Like we really don't care about the property. Uh, one boat with only twelve. Twelve! Well, we weren't sure of the weight, Mr. Andrews. These boats may buckle. Rubbish. They were tested in Belfast with the weight of seventy men. Now, fill these boats, Mr. Lightoller. I keep us locked in here like animals. The ship's bloody sinking! Break ball at the women! No way! No! I make my own luck. Open the gate right now. Go back down the main stairwell like I told you. And there's like gonna be like an influx of people. I say, or I'll shoot you all like dogs. Keep order here. Don't Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. What's the use? Nobody's listening to us anyway. Well, they don't listen to us at dinner either. Come on, let's play. Keep us warm. Have an understanding, then, Mr. Murdoch. Don't do it. Don't take the money. I found her on the other side, waiting for a boat with him. Be on the left. Take them down. Bye for a little while. Right. Only for a little while. There'll be another boat for the daddies. This boat's for the mummies and the children. Get on the boat. Yes, get on the boat, Rose. I have an arrangement with an officer on the other side of the ship. Jack and I can get off safely. Both of us. There's no, uh... There's no arrangement, is there? No, there is. Not that you'll benefit much from it. Man, that is... sad. But no. Rose! Why'd you do that, huh? You're so stupid, Rose. And like they're once again back in the water. What could possibly be funny? I put the diamond. Rose has I the put coat. the coat on her! Can't save you any more than it could save me. And I don't remember anything like that. No will. I have a child. Please, I'm all she has in the world. 
Oh, you fucking liar. Won't you even make a try for it? I'm sorry, but that didn't build you a stronger ship, young Rose. No, oh, the captain. I think that's her rule. Like, the captain has to be the last one to to leave his ship, I think. That's it, man. Goodbye, buddy. Good luck. Bye, Bob. He's gonna stay. together for 300 years in the land of Tirnanog. It was like 2.15, so there's like 15 minutes left until it sinks, I think. Like, people should not be there under that. Jack! This is where we first met! <laughs> Bloody pull faster and pull! jump because when it's gonna break it's gonna come oh. God almighty the unsinkable ship yeah that's your fault Go back, they'll swamp the boat, they'll pull us right down, I'm telling you. Now do you people want to live or do you want to die? Right! Listen to me, man, we have to go back! I want to transfer all the women from this boat into that boat right now, as quick as you can, please! That's a good person. I love you, Jack. Don't you say your goodbyes. Not yet. Winning that ticket, Rose, was the best thing that ever happened to me. It brought me to you. You must promise me that you'll survive. That you won't give up. No, sir. No, 
Done moving, sir. Check them! Bring that ore up here! Yeah, no, I... Jack, there's a boat! Oh. Jack! He's dead. Come back! Come back! I'll never let go. I promise. She's going back in the water! <laughs> Saved from the water, myself included. The 700 people in the boats had nothing to do but wait. Yeah, because the other boat was like four, four hours away. Oh, and he lived, of course. That's the last time I ever saw him. But the crash of 29 hit his interest hard. And he put a pistol in his mouth that year. Oh. Or so I read. Can I tell your name, please, love? Dawson. That's why. Because it was... His name was Jack Dawson, that's why. Now I can understand the ending more. But now you know there was a man named Jack Dawson. And that he saved me. I don't even have a picture of him. He exists now only in my memory. Now I've seen. I've seen that, so I know that she has the necklace because she had the coat on. And in the coat was the necklace, so she had it this whole time. she like um went to a lot of place i don't know what it's called in english she traveled to a lot of places ride the horse on the beach in los angeles like it, it truly must have been like an incredible, like, beautiful ship. Like, especially for the people in first class. So... Truly... What a movie. Wow. And like I said, I, I I saw the ending on TV. And I never saw how they get on the boat. But now, as I saw the ending, I can tell you that I pretty much forgot everything about it. Because the only thing that I was sure about was when she's uh, at the end and she throws the necklace in the water. That was the only thing that I was like 100% sure of. The rest was literally like watching it again because I don't remember the, the ending being like that. And there was a lot of scenes that like when the boat is sinking that I don't remember. And it was also really nice to finally understand the movie from beginning to end. And now I can understand why it's such a beautiful movie and very emotional. Because I cried so much. And understanding the story of the characters and everything was just... Like, it just made more sense with how it ends. Like, a lot more sense. And I could understand the, the depth of the characters and everything.
Oof. I, I really, 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 really enjoyed the movie. Didn't think it was gonna make me uh, cry that much. But uh, I can't understand why it, it's considered like a classic. But I hope uh, you guys enjoyed. And as always, you can like and subscribe. Stay safe outside. And I hope you have a good day.